Today I have some serious awesomeness for you in the shape of this X99 Fast. It's built by ISA Yachts. They build some pretty serious super yachts. They regard this as a bit of a baby, but actually it is over 30 meters long. It is just under seven and a half meters wide and it is an incredible machine. And that Fast, I mentioned it was a Fast, the actual model name of the boat is X99 Fast is because <laughs> it's fast. It really is properly fast and we will talk about that of course when we go in the engine room. So we're going to step on board via this transformer. What this does is it will lower into the water if you want to or it'll lift up to access a key as we have it at the minute. You can use this to lift a tender as well. So you can bring a tender onto here. This lifts out of the way, it retracts flush into here and your tender would sit on here but there is a tender garage so you probably wouldn't but nonetheless the ability is there if you want it. Underneath this sunbed, there is storage for sea bobs and that kind of thing. But the garage is not back here. The garage is out of the side. I'll show you that as we go on around. Now, the word I want you to have foremost in your mind as we go around this boat is a relaxation because this is what this yacht is all about. So starting right here, beautiful sunbeds all the way back, looking right out across the water. Then this is fabulous lounging area here really deep cushions the kind of thing you can really sink into you're under the shade of the hard top as you come up to this bit that's a wonderful entertaining space the other thing we've got here is drop balconies you can see one over there that's in the upright position because we're alongside another boat but this is what it does it drops down as this gentleman is kindly demonstrating for us and when you've got these down you've got about 10 meters right across it really opens this space out it's fantastic it also means you can stroll out here of course and take a, a look up the side of your yacht that's fantastic and then there's a couple of gentle steps up and we've got this wonderful dining area it's sort of you know, inside outside really isn't it because it's very sheltered and it's very shaded but it is on the outside of the boat there's a tv that rises out of here and it swivels so you can either have it viewed from here or from the back but that, I think, is just such a wonderful, relaxing area. You can imagine being on there with your friends or your family, chilling out. What a great place to be. Just amazing. We're going to head on through. Now, this boat is um, owned by American owners, and it's on its way to Miami. So there are a few things on here which were to own a specification which are not standard. I'll try and explain that to you as we go through. And the first thing we reach is the galley. Now, there's a big drop section here that comes down. In fact, you can see it is dropped slightly for a bit of ventilation, but you can bring that down. Again, terrific if you're entertaining. You can obviously converse straight through or whatever else. And then we come into here. Hello. I'm just going to film very quickly in here. Is that OK? You can, you can stay there. It's OK, but um, you, you might appear. <laughs> but I'll, uh, I'll just come around here with it and try not to get you in too much. So this is the galley area. Obviously, you've got cooking here. You've got a huge wine cooler. And then we come right on round. More cooking is over here. There's a little bar area in here as well for the crew. And in fact, the standard layout is to have the crew cabin access from here, and the crew cabins are down underneath. On this particular boat, they've been fitted further forward, and I will explain that as we go on forward. So that's one of the things that was changed for these owners. Brilliant. Thank you so much. I'll loop on round. Thank you. I don't think I got you in it. This is... Um, day heads in here it's also stylish isn't it look at the thickness of these doors although these are thick it's actually very lightweight wood and in fact the hull as well is a carbon composite hull so the whole boat is designed for lightweight and that goes with the high performance as I say we'll talk about that a little bit further on we've got access to some storage and some of the engineering areas in places like this And then we come on forward again keep that word relaxation in your mind because check that out masses of headroom masses of space masses of seating just a really lovely comfortable spot these areas here looks like it's completely flush wood but if you give that a bit of a push you've got things like your glasses and that kind of stuff drinks etc if we come over here Again, all these sorts of areas, they're all utilised. So that's all your servers in there, for example. Um, you can see there, it's all by video works. So all your AV equipment, your satellite um, decoders, all that sort of stuff, that's all tucked away in there. But what a wonderful, inviting and cosy area that is. I think that's absolutely great. There's a bar area on this one. Again, that was uh, the spec of the owners. You don't normally get that, but they had that fitted. 
sideboard along here. So this is for your crockery. So everything has its place. And then we come on forward again. TV is in the bulkhead here. And this one has the access to the crew cabins down here. I say that's not a normal thing. Normally, this would be blanked off. The accommodation that we're going to look at in a minute in the lower deck would be further forward and the crew cabins would be aft. But it's just how this one's been specified by the owner. Helm is here. Something is bleeping. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Sorry about that. Control system for the entire yacht is on this screen here. So you can dial into DC power and comfort and all that kind of thing. It's all on there, lighting and so forth like so and then we've got navigation we've got camera systems this kind of stuff obviously you can configure however you want it side access doors on here look at the stainless steel work on this you'll see that as we go around actually the detailing on this is amazing and i think it's because this is very much built by a super yacht company even these seats look how substantial they are side access door on that side as well we'll take a quick look in the crew cabins uh, or at least in that area but um it is in use, so we'll just have to sort of wing it a little bit. So let's come on down here. Standard configuration is four crew in two cabins. I'm not going to go in because they're, uh, I think they're actually in use at the minute. So two there, two there. This boat was modified in as much as, or changed when they specified it. There's normally a mess area here. This owner wanted an extra crew cabin, so that was put into there. And then there's a small mess area just here. Laundry facilities then are tucked in. Here, you can just see the washing machine at the back there. So yeah, as I say, that is not a standard configuration, but that's how that was done. Hello there. Hi, sorry. No problem at all, no, don't worry. Good, we'll carry on. I did say they were in use, didn't I? <laughs> I do like to be careful, I think, for the crew. You know, we don't want to start invading their private spaces if we can help it. Okay, let's press on back. A lot more to see on this one. It's a fascinating yacht. What we're going to do now is we're going to head down to the lower deck. So this is pretty standard, albeit everything is moved back a little bit in order to get that crew cabin forward. And if we go right on through, this is what I'm talking about with the quality. Look at these hinges. They are a work of art. You'll see a lot of that as we go around. Again, it's all so calm and relaxing. I love it. They've done such a great job with this. This is interesting because you would look at this and assume that that's been made and then these wooden sections have been put on and they haven't. That's been basically carved out of a solid block of wood. This is wardrobes here. Like so. That's actually an escape hatch. That takes you through to the crew cabin. So it's an emergency route out of either direction. Dressing table is here. Ensuite is in here. Got the bidet in this one. The sink, obviously, and a very, very nice shower. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Nice little settee, tuck yourself away, etc. This is more wardrobes over on this side. We've got hull windows as well. The blinds are down at the minute, but you can just about see through there. See how they... Well, <laughs> you probably know how our window works. You look through it and see what's on the other side. So that's that fella. Let's head on back a little bit further. There are two more guest cabins and then an owner's cabin. So if we come back here, again these gorgeous hinges. Fantastic. So this one is two singles. You can make this into a double. So you move the dressing table out of the way, move one bed across to the other and then drop the dressing table back in on the outside. I think you. Yeah, you probably do that one over to that side, I would guess. But there's a Pullman berth in here as well. So that chap there will fold down like this flat. So brilliant for kids, for example. Bit of overflow sleeping, absolutely ideal. Look at the headroom in here. Look at it. It's fantastic and it's right through the boat. And again, it comes back to that feeling of relaxation and space and comfort. Just brilliant. Hanging locker there, I wanted to show you. Even here, where you don't even really see them. <laughs> the hinges are incredible. And they're virtually invisible. It's not even like you can see them, and they're still made to this incredible standard. In here, then, ensuite, shower, you know the drill. Awesome. The cabin opposite is pretty much the same. 
same sort of deal, two singles, convert to a double, Pullman, hull window, wardrobe, and an ensuite. Okay, let's move on back a bit further because back here we will find the owner's cabin. Check that out. It's the full beam of the boat and it just feels lovely. AV equipment again, of course, a lot of floor space, drawers about the place like so. You've got them across here as well. There's a lot of storage space actually. And then again, we've got this kind of thing, but of course they're much bigger because it's the owner's cabin. So that really is pretty much a walk-in wardrobe, isn't it? Superb, absolutely superb. Heads is over on this side. There's the big door there, of course, that comes across to close that off. And inside that we will discover a bigger shower it is the owner's cabin after all. There we go. Love the drains in these. <laughs> it's the details, isn't it? There we are. Let's move that rug back where we found it. Little wave in the mirror. And then toilet and the bidet are down at that end. Beautifully backlit, just beautifully done generally. Fantastic, plenty more to show you. We're gonna take a wander around the deck areas. There's a flybridge on this one as well. Look at all this, stunning. Okay, on and up we go. And I think what I'll do is I'll take you out and round. There's a pocket door here to close off the galley if you want to. We'll go across here. Loop our way around. Side doors. Engine vents, so that's for the air to come in. And that one is up to the flybridge. So if we loop around here and on up, we've actually got a really good size flybridge up here. Check that out. You can have a hard top if you want. This owner chose to have the Bimini instead. So it looks a bit sleeker when that's removed. The bar area is down here, you know, the usual facilities and the nice seats. And then back here on this little mast, we've got antennas, satellite domes, radar, all that kind of paraphernalia is up there. Some bathing in the back corners on both sides and then again imagine sat here with your feet out along here chatting to your friends it's just that whole boat is just simply a great place to be. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, hello. <laughs> this, um, this owner chose a particular sound system, so these things you're seeing dot around the place are owner spec speakers, so that's the things that they wanted to have on there. This one here, again, big sunbathing area, but you can choose to have this backrest up or drop it down flat or lift that one up so you can face whichever way you want. There's another helm position then up here. And again, multifunction displays steering, all the usual bits and pieces. <laughs> we don't need to explain steering to you, do you? You probably work that one out. And that's the view out over the front. Really nice place to obviously hand the boat from. Fantastic. Okay, lots still to do. Let's go on down, take a wander around. I can't wait to show you the engine room. That's pretty spectacular. Okay, if we come around here now, we've got things like, this is a little technical space, so storage and some of the engineering is in here. Again, <laughs> I mean, this is just a hinge on a cupboard door on the outside for the crew, and it is still an absolute work of art. 
So yeah, you've got access to some of the electronics, that sort of thing. Canopies can be put in there, a bit of storage, and so forth. And even that's got sound deadening on it. There we go. Extra ISA yachts. Fantastic. Let's press on. These are so high, these walks here. As I stand next to it, look. Huh? Well, you can see how high that is. <laughs> you really do feel like you're in this boat, even when you're walking up here. Got the rail here to hold on to as well if you want to, as you get a bit further forward. That's the side door next to the helm, and in fact, there's a wing station here as well. So if we lift this up, it'll allow us to not only control the boat, <laughs> but to geek out at the hinges. Look at this! I've never had such hinge envy as I've had on this boat. Now this again, owner specification, very much the Miami vibe with the jet skis and so forth. Normally what you'd have up here is a seating area and some bathing and so on. This owner wanted to have the skis up here and the lift for those in the centre there. So of course that's what they have. And then this is more access and storage and that kind of thing. Down to the front we've got the anchor windlasses here and that's the crane for getting the skis on and off. But yeah, owner spec. Okay, I'll take you back down this side. Again, with the helm station door. Again, with the wing station. Oh, come on, I'm going to show you those hinges again. Oh, yes! <laughs> and then we'll come right on back. Oh, these big overhangs. This is part of the camera system up here. Okay, and finally, we are going to check out the engines. All right, just to let you know, I'm just going to open this hatch, so don't go falling down it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, somebody's cranking the music up. All right, let's give that a twist. Cool. Okay. Here we go. Now, because the crew cabin has been moved forward, this is the access to the engine room. If you have the crew cabin in its normal place back here, there is a doorway from the crew cabin straight into here, which makes life a little easier. But this is what you get if you opt for this particular layout option. And now we're going to move from relaxation to performance. Because this, this is awesome. All right, first thing to mention while we're in here, where we've got some of the um, controls here, so shore power controls, generator controls, also panel for the whole boat. This is into the garage. So if I open, I'll turn it the right way, there we go. That, there we go. So that's got a side door, and that goes straight out of the side. It's a Williams 395, so pretty decent tender in there. And then this, this is the engine room. These are a pair of MTU 16V 2000M96L engines. They're 2,600 horsepower each. They're running through water jets and they're giving this boat 37 knots flat out. Cruise at 28 knots and a 500 mile range at that speed. That is a fast 30 meter boat, but, and it's a huge but, if it's not fast enough, <laughs> and I can't believe I'm saying this, well then you just simply opt for the high performance version instead. That's giving you three man V12s at 2000 horsepower each, that ups to total power to 6000 horsepower through twin water jets, and now you're up towards the mid 40s. It's about a 44 knot top end and it will cruise at 38 knots. 38! Insane! It's not called the fast for nothing. It's the most literal name I've ever come across. Generators are back here. This is a really good engine room, actually. You can really get around these engines to pretty much every aspect of them. There's the Jennies. Two of those fellows. 
And yeah, two monster, monster engines, MTUs. They look incredible, don't they? And that's the small option. Another uh, escape route out of here. So that goes straight out and up onto the deck. But as I say, if you opt for the standard layout with the crew cabin towards the aft of the accommodation, then you do have a door straight through. It's a lot easier than coming up down the ladder. If you go for the forward one that this one's got, well then this, of course, is the result of that. That is impressive. That is properly impressive. <laughs> this thing doing 44 knots. Unbelievable. And even with these engines, the lower powered option, you've still got some incredible, incredible speed. I am a little bit in love with this boat. Air conditioning over here. Other technical stuff. Alrighty, let's come back out of here. I don't like leaving these hatches open too long when people are walking around at a boat show. For obvious reasons. There we go. Let's pop that one back down. Perfect. And I think we'll come back down to this aft deck. I want to show you as well, actually. We saw the intakes for the air for the engine room, but the out air vents, I'm trying to give a good name for them then, are hidden down under here. There we go. You can see and hear them. Very discreet. Brilliant. So there we go. I'm going to say massive thanks to ISA Yachts. That's been absolutely brilliant. I've been really, really pleased to bring that one to you. Let me know what you think of it in the comments, and we will catch you on one of these very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.